Hi, it's Andrew for HaliDirect.com. Today I'm going to talk briefly about soldering and EC5 connectors. The EC5 connectors we sell are ideal for high power setups on 600 and 700 size electric helicopters. They're available either as a male and female pair. We also sell them individually as male connectors or female connectors. You should use the female connector on your battery leads and the male connector on the battery lead of the ESC. These connectors are rated to 120 amps continuous when they're joined with 10 gauge wire. So here we have a female connector. This is typical of what you'd use connected to your battery, so it goes on the battery side. Important things to note, the brass terminal has got a tapered flange to allow it to easily slip into the plastic protector. It's really important on these connectors that you feed the battery lead through the connector first, then solder on the brass terminal, and then simply pull it back through, and you'll find that this will snap into place within the plastic connector. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. So to solder these connectors, um, I'm using a device called the Jigs Up. We stock these at Halley Direct. Uh, very handy device. You could use a block of wood with some holes drilled in it, but I find this works very well. Place the brass terminal into one of the holes to hold it. With the battery lead, and again, pretend this is attached to your battery, cut off about four or five millimeters of the silicon insulation and expose the wire beneath. Next, it's very important to pass the wire through the plastic terminal. The plastic terminals have a positive and negative molded in them. So remember the positive is for the red lead off the battery. You should only ever do one battery lead at once because you don't want them shorting out. So if we're working with the positive lead at the moment, we'd have the negative lead of the battery still insulated and strapped to the side of the battery pack. So pass the lead through the correct side of the plastic terminal. Again, noting negative and positive. So it must go into the positive side. Next, we want to tin both the exposed wire on the battery lead and the inside of the EC5. To do that, with your soldering iron, heat up the wire on the battery lead. To correctly solder, it's very important to use a soldering iron to heat the wire and then run the solder into the wire itself. So here I have the soldering iron heating the wire and I can, you can see here that the wire is now getting hot and I can run the solder directly into the wire. You should not put the solder onto the tip of the soldering iron. Then remove the heat and you'll see you should, we'll end up with a nice pre-tinning of the wire on the end of the battery lead. That looks great. Now we're going to tin the inside of the brass connector. What we need to do is apply heat to the connector. Once the connector gets hot, we then run solder inside it. Don't fill this right up because you don't want solder coming out. Around about half full is normally perfect. Then remove the heat. Next we want to drop the lead from the battery into the connector. So again, heat the connector up. Once the solder inside starts melting, position the lead, drop it in, remove the heat, and now let it cool. It's very important not to move this while it's cooling, and also not to blow on it, 
to it because you don't want the solder cooling too fast. If the solder cools too fast, you end up with a dry solder joint. Once the solder has cooled, simply remove the connector from the jig you've been using and pull the wire back in through the plastic protector and keep pulling with a good tug the connector will snap into place really is that simple simply repeat this process now for the negative lead on the battery and then do the same for the lead connected to the ESC for the ESC use the male connectors and again on the ESC pass the wire through the connector first then tin it then solder and then pull back through I'll again show you how to do this so now I have the battery input lead on the ESC I've trimmed approximately 5 millimeters of insulation exposing the wire. I have my male connectors. I'm going to pass the wire first through the plastic connector. And now I'm ready to tin both the wire and the inside of the brass terminal. So again, for tinning, very important to heat the wire first and then run the solder onto the wire. Do not try and put the solder onto the soldering iron. Just going to give this a minute to heat up. You can see here the wire is getting hot and my solder is running nicely into the wire. Simply remove the heat. Next, heat up the brass connector. It's really good to use a 60 to 80 watt soldering iron. Um, the bigger the soldering iron, the better. You get better heat transfer and you can get the job done more quickly. Once the connector's heated up, simply half fill the cup with solder. Once that's done, drop the ESC lead into the solder. You'll see it melt. Remove the heat keeping it nice and still until the solder hardens. Next, simply pull the lead back through the connector and it will snap into place. Now simply repeat for the negative and then you'll have your two finished connectors. Um, really helps to pull the brass connector back into the plastic block while it's still warm. It makes that job much easier. Once you've finished both the positive and negative, you'll find you get a really nice tight fit of the connectors. The EC5s we sell a single piece. You'll notice they don't have a cage on the male end. This is a huge advantage. The connectors with a cage here, if the cage is free to rotate, you get very poor electrical contact. So these single piece connectors are far superior. Good luck with your soldering.